everyone and welcome to Tip Tuesday. My name is Kiki Fontenot and this is Kaylee Deinzer and we are here with LSU Ag Center to talk to you guys about properly covering your sensitive crops when it is cold and freezing outside. So we're standing here next to a blood orange tree. It's not just citrus but all of our tropical and semi-tropical crops are going to be very sensitive to cold right now. So when you go out and you cover them we want y'all to think about several things first before just arbitrarily covering them up. One is you need to make sure that this tree or your shrub or your potted plant has been well watered, okay? They're gonna withstand more freezing temperatures if the soil around the roots is well watered. Now last night, lucky for us, it rained. If it hasn't rained in the past week, go ahead and give it a good drink. <clears throat> Second thing you wanna worry about is as you're covering up your plants, you are going to be trapping out all beneficial insects. And if there are any insects on here like aphids or mites or anything like that, their populations are gonna explode as you have them covered. So what we wanna do is either spray it with a horticulture oil or soap, or at the very least, look down at the base of the plant. And if there's any weeds, like you see this hen bit down here, let's go ahead and pull this out and remove this. And you're thinking, Kiki, why do I care about weeding before a freeze? Because weeds harbor insects and we don't want insects building up, especially bad insects, you know, around our plant. So now we've got that taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and cover this up. <clears throat> what I have here is some Agribond or some uh, weather protection cloth from the plant nursery. If you don't have time or if you guys wait till the night before a freeze, it's gonna be sold out. So go ahead and grab a white bed sheet or a light peach colored, light pink colored, it doesn't matter. What you want is you want sunlight to be able to penetrate into this cloth, right? And keep that plant going. Because if it's not a dark covered cloth, then you can keep it covered for several weeks, no problem. So what we're gonna do here is we have cinder blocks up here at the Hill Farm. You can use dump trucks, you can use blocks, bricks, whatever you have at your house. Let's go ahead and make sure that this cover is completely sealed up. And we're oops, gonna put lots of blocks around it to hold it down. What we want to make sure is it's nice and loose on the top. We don't really want it smashing up against the leaves because anywhere the leaf touches the cover, you do have a tendency for burn just on that leaf tip, all right? Now, we're gonna make sure, stand around, watch that no air is blowing up underneath it and keep it like that. If you pom-pom it, right, like a lollipop and you just put the, uh, the cover on the top part but leave the base of that plant exposed, you're not getting good cold protection. It has to be all the way to the ground like this. Try not to use clear plastic. Clear plastic on very sunny days will come in and burn and scorch the plant underneath it. You're gonna to have to remove it every day if you use that. But a nice white bed sheet or something like this works perfect. 